Okay. Yeah. I I am playing Fran Bow. Um I saw this available on the phone. So I'm playing it on the phone. And it's just a demo because well I I can't buy things, unfortunately. But um I'm gonna play as much as I can. And I will say that I have already played this a little bit. Um but I'm gonna start a new game. So, I basically already know how to get out, and, well, I've, I have seen other people play this, I will admit that as well. So, just a heads up, I do know what I'm doing a little bit. Anyways, new game. Everything is fine. It feels like heaven. I see my parents. They look happy. They have a present for me. I wonder. It's a cat. So sweet and pretty. Dark as the deepest night. It's Mr. Midnight. My best friend. My only friend. Aw, oh, that's sad. We're having dinner. I see Aunt Grace, too. I really like her a lot. It's Friday. My parents are going out. Aunt Grace takes good care of me. Oh, <laughs> look at the cat. He was eating. <laughs> We're having so much fun. It's Monday night. I'm playing with Mr. Midnight, but something feels real bad. Oh, a strange creature outside my window. I don't like it and scares me. Suddenly I hear something. It's mom, screaming. I want to know what's wrong. A heavy light shines from my parents' room. I go closer. I'm closer. I don't know what that's about, sorry. Mom? Dad? Please don't. Ooh. Mommy? Daddy? Oh my god. Yeah, and if you look right there in the center of them, there's an anarchy symbol. Is that pretty strange? She ran away. <laughs> run, little girl, run! Friend. Please follow my voice. On the count of three, you will wake up. One, two, three. Friend, how do you feel? I'm fine, I guess. Just sad to see the same. Sadness is something everyone has within. That is true. I want to go home, I want to find the killer. Hmm. I want to- I want to- I really want to know who killed my parents. The police are working on it. I find- I'll find my cat and the killer. Yes. The cat is missing. It would be impossible to get him back. But now I have something for you. Oh, really? See the desk? There's a little package for you. It's from Aunt Grace. Take it. So yeah, if any of you have seen other people play this and you notice that the room is different, that's because it is. It is. I don't really like this, but whatever. It's all I could do. Even the paper is different. <laughs> Dearest friend, here's the purse you like so much. I thought you would appreciate it. I was thinking 
of you that you like. Yeah. I was thinking of you that you like to examine objects and combine them with other things. Give it a good use <laughs> and never forget that creativity is the greatest gift you have. Not. What? Lot. Love, Aunt Grace. <laughs> She's worried about you. Aunt Grace? Well, another reason to let me go. Well, don't worry about her. She's fine. I'm tired of this. I just want to go to my room. Yes, you can leave, but before you do, it's time for your new medicine. I don't want to try new, try more medicine. It's called Durine. Duradine. I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, Duradine. I'm gonna say that. It'll make you feel very relaxed. Mmm, you're gonna do drugs. Okay, I'm sorry. Nurse! Everything around Dr. Dean! <laughs> Nothing, actually. Same visions as before. Ah, oh, I see. <laughs> hey, friend, take an immersion. <laughs> <laughs> I like the voice that I gave her. Oh my god. I don't feel good. Bum. Oh no. Take it back to her room. Come on. And nurse, don't let her take this ever again. Here's another flashback or whatever. Ah. You were a friend, boo. If you leave the house of madness, I will hunt you. Catch you. And bring you back to insanity. Fran, wake up. The medicine will help you escape. I'll be waiting for you in the forest. I love you. Oh, I love Mr. Midnight. He's so adorable. Chapter one, sober day. It's actually called my sober day, but whatever. I'm still here. Hideous place. I have to get out of here. Okay, so yes. I already know that you have to get the hook. Yes. And I know how to open this, too. H needs to be 8. I needs to be 9. D4. E5. And there's the pills. <laughs> See, I already know what to do, but... Okay. It's locked. I'm gonna go ahead and read this. Name Frambo. Age 10. Gen sex female. History. The patient was found. The patient was found near the Oswald Asylum showing signs of hallucination and depression. The patient is recovering with treatment. Is receiving treatment. With Dr. Jern. 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 I don't... I don't think I'm saying that right. We have to... We have tried different medication and all have been cancelled because of side effects. Dun dun dun. There's a little box. And it's open. Hello. This is where you can get the crayon. See, in the... Um... And the computer version, the crayon is with a little girl. And not in here. And the rocking horse is over there in that in this corner near the pills. Phil. Hello, boy. Hello. Do you know the way out? There are many ways out. Everything but everything is locked. Indeed. But everything will open from the office. How do we get there? Who doesn't want me to tell you? Who? Him. A 
and you can all doors are closed you are my prisoner of my games and nobody will help you escape leave me alone i hate you mom daddy i need you so much right now no i won't let that monster stop me yeah when he appears in this room and the computer writes in he appears from a portal where Fran is standing, and he's much bigger. Much bigger. Yes, I got in there. Something inside. Then take what's inside. See, there's her family. I think that if you feel the pills and look at this, um, something awful happens, I believe. I'm not sure, though. But, yeah. Um... I need to go into the hell world, hellish world, and get a pin from the lady sitting right here. Time to lock the door. There we go. If we stay there for too long, um, it'll hurt Fran's ears and automatically kick us out. Of course it's locked. Yeah, use the dang, there you go. There you go. And you know what she says? She says, yes, to happiness. And then in the computer version, it says, to happiness, right there next to the door. Hilarious. See, this guy is normally downstairs, but he's not. And the other door is normally behind a cage, but he's not. Bleh. Yes. So you already know what to do. And all that fun stuff. I need to draw him. A, um. Castle and horse. I didn't know it was yours. And you should. You should speak clearly and bow to me. I am your king. I bow to you, sir. <laughs> Very well, my child. What is the pur purpose of your visit? I want your cane. Fucking cane, do you mean my sword? Yes, your highness. Your sword. Well, will you give me an exchange? Exchange. Anything you need, your highness. Bring me cast on a horse and you'll get my sword. And that's what you need the crayon and stuff for. Yes, you do. You do know! Yes, you do! Hello? The nurse is dead. What nurse? Bloody me a bloody foodie. I don't, don't eat it then. But I'm so hungry. Bloody meal and, and bread and bra. You're just still boy. You have you have a really disturbed mind, and I can't read. Need to get magical stuff from her. Hello, girl. I can't give you magical stuff. Shh. What magical stuff? The magical stuff that make everyone everything fall asleep. Oh, everything. What do you mean? Here, as a, just take it. Yeah, this is a sleeping pill. Okay. What? Thank you. What is it? The magic stuff. Sleep. Shh. Shut up. Oh. I actually kind of like her. Okay. So, I think I'll end it off soon because I think I'll end it here. And I'll pick up in a few moments. Um, and I'll pick up later because I can't record more than 15 minutes. I'm sorry. If I could continue, I would. I seriously would. But. Anyways, guys. Thank you for watching. This is Franbo Demo on the phone. I hope you enjoyed it. Well, what I got, what I got to show you. And I'll see you later. Goodbye. Yeah,